try to sneak out this morning before the baby wakes up. Got my monitor in my pocket. I'm gonna try to get a few things done out here, particularly getting the goats some hay. They don't like this hay. We have been struggling trying to find a good hay source that's consistently good in this new area and they just don't like it. But the good thing is, is I have some pumpkins to supplement it with. Yes, we are starting to get our donations again and they love this time of year. What are you doing? Sweet kitty. Well, you're already gotten some mist on you. It's starting to mist. Gotta hurry. We're expecting a lot of rain today and tomorrow, so I want to get this done. Yes, those are Star Wars pajama pants. I am doing my chores in. I'm trying to tell them about you. <laughs> I've got this grate in the way so that the roosters won't come in here and make a mess of my floor again. This potting room she shed is going to be my safe space. We do keep the hay in here as it's a very dry. It was um, We were told it was used as a wood kiln, a wood drying kiln. That's how dry it is in here. So perfect for the hay and the quail feed. With the quail being just on the other side of this wall, makes it convenient for us. And all I got to do is grab my gorilla cart with my hay and go feed the goats. Definitely going to have to do something about the fact that we have three roosters out here. That is not necessary. And next game is coming up soon. Hmm. Decisions. Decisions. I don't want them. I don't want them getting aggressive with the kids as they start to mature, so. Speaking of things. Hmm. You're looking like a nice good size. <laughs> um, I don't think this is Bermuda. This looks, looks like straw. This does not at all look like Bermuda to me at all. Looks like straw. I don't see anything in here that even remotely resembles Bermuda. Animals aren't going to eat this. Why aren't you eating your hay? Yeah, they're not, not wanting anything to do with this. They're smelling it and pushing it out of the bowl. This is not animal feed. We had a sweet family drop off some pumpkins yesterday. The goats already ate about half of them and they're loving it. So we're gonna go ahead and smash them up and give some more to them. That's better, huh? <laughs> Yummy. That's a good breakfast. Aren't you like that pumpkin? No, maybe? Mm -hmm. She's just it's just eating. Here you go. Yum yum. Good for you. Alright, I better put my gorilla cart back in the she shade so it doesn't get rained in. And I hear a little baby. My monitor. He wakes up so happy. I'm very blessed. He literally wakes up smiling and cooing and happy. So, it gives me a few minutes to collect what I'm doing and finish up and then I can go in and snuggle the baby so I do have electricity in this shed so I'm hoping I need to this is not working the light so I need to get an electrician to look at it and make sure that this outlet's working I haven't even tested it because ideally I'll have my seed starting shelves right here 
on this wall. Um, we can always put up plastic here or another door. There's actually a door in the barn. Um, it's behind quite a few boxes now, but I was thinking it might have been for this door. So we're going to look into that as a possibility, but um, this would be a great area for starting seeds. There's light, natural light, and we have our grow lights too. So it'd be probably the most perfect situation, at least until we get our greenhouse over here. For those of you that don't know, I have a 20 by 25 foot Atlas Snow Arch commercial greenhouse at my ex-husband's house. And we're good friends with him. Ryan and I are both good friends with him and he is excited for us that we're gonna be able to come disassemble the greenhouse that he's not using and bring it here. Um, it's one that's very near and dear to my heart because my daddy uh, and I put it up. So I'm really looking forward to getting it to our permanent home. Good thing I looked out here before going in. Liam's boots would have gotten soaked. It's already starting to mist. Baby's up. I'll check back with you later. I just opened this bale of hay. Look what I found. Blister beetles baled right into the hay. That's extremely toxic to goats. No wonder why they won't, won't eat it. So you may be wondering, what is a blister beetle? And why should I be worried about it? Blister beetles are typically found in alfalfa hay. This alfalfa is actually a replacement from the feed store because they admitted they gave us the wrong hay. They were not supposed to be using that hay for animal feed and so they made it right and gave us some nice high quality alfalfa. Blister beetles feed on the pollen of alfalfa blooms and other weeds as well. They can sometimes eat the flowers or the leaves but they mainly are pollen eaters and they come in about three different varieties that you mainly find in hay. You're gonna have the striped, the spotted, and the black blister beetle. I thought I heard something on the roof. Hello, Mitzi. You being silly up there. She likes hanging out up there. The problem is, is when it gets bailed into the hay, it releases a toxic substance called cantharidin. Cantharidin, whether it's fresh or a year old, in your hay will actually burn you and cause blisters, giving it the name the blister beetle. Can you imagine what it would do to the inside of one of their mouths? And then their intestines and then the rest of their system. It is not a pretty thing. So that leads to the more deadly problems that we see. So this toxic substance causes blisters in the mouth, in the intestines, and wreaks havoc on the kidneys. You're going to see signs of discomfort, pain, intestinal disrupt, frequent urination, possibly even elevated temperature and heart rate. And there is no cure. Now you can do treatments. Things like activated charcoal, 
um, things that will coat the lining of the intestines like slippery elm, pain meds, things to relieve the symptoms. But most importantly, you want to flush their system with fluids. So give them lots and lots of fluids, um, including electrolytes in that. It's a good idea. And just try to keep them as comfortable as possible and hope that they did not ingest enough for fatality. It is a much more fatal substance in a goat's system than people think. Often it's associated with horse people being afraid of blister beetles because horses are even more sensitive to it. The substance is similar to cyanide or strychnine, so it's pretty darn lethal. Ways to prevent it from coming into your herd is to check your hay. Look at every flake. If I had not been doing that, I would not have discovered those beetles in our hay. I did not see any in the other bale that I had opened that I was trying to get the goats to feed on. And there may not have been any. You can find it in one hay bale or in every hay bale. It's very random. But the fact is, is that the substance is released into the hay bale and you may not even see a beetle and the substance could be there. So you have to be very vigilant to make sure that you have a good hay source and that they're using good practices to make sure that they don't have an infestation of the blister beetle. Cool little fact about the blister beetle is that the substance that they produce that's toxic that causes the blistering is on purpose. The male produces this substance and gives it as a gift to the female when they mate. The female then uses this burning, blistering substance to coat her eggs to protect them from predators. Pretty cool, huh? Don't want to mess with her. This was definitely a tragedy averted. I am so glad that I saw that. I'm even more glad that the feed store was aware of the situation. We made them very aware of it, that there were blister beetles. They knew it wasn't good hay. They didn't tell us why they knew it wasn't good hay, but they said that they weren't selling it as a feed hay. So they knew there was something wrong. It just was an accident and they made it right. So goats are happy. Nobody seems like they're hurting today because it is a 24 hour to 72 hour symptom situation. So we may not have seen any symptoms yesterday. And I'm just very relieved that everybody's okay. Our little porch lizard is molting. He's shedding his skin. I don't know if you can see it. See the white around the edges of his belly and tail. He's been out here catching flies and he's loving it. And I'm loving her. Ooh -wee! My newest plant acquisition. Ryan really does love me. 